Hello everyone, welcome. Come on in and say hello. All right, so again, if you're new to my page, my name is Dawn. I, this is Reap the Core by Dawn. I am from North Carolina and I have been doing this for about five years now as a business. I've been crafting um, most of my life. So um, I turned it into a business about five years ago when we moved back here to North Carolina. So, all right, so what I'm doing for you today is a gingerbread wreath. I've got a 24 inch pine. Hello, first time watcher Pam. Thank you so much for watching. And um, we're gonna use this one. This is from Hobby Lobby. I had a whole bunch of these uh, a couple years ago at the end of season. I like to buy up as many as I can if they ever have any left. I don't know, this year they probably won't. Um, the way the sales have been going for them, I guess. Um, but anyway, so this is a 24 inch, so we're using that. I have these two cute little Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Gingers that we're gonna be using. Oh, welcome, first time watchers. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give us a like, a share, follow, so you can see us uh, in future lives. Um, I go live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on my page. But we're gonna be using these two little gingerbread tins that I got. And then I have, um, here's my mesh that I'm gonna be using. This is cut at 30 inches. So we're gonna be using that mesh. And then I have a whole tub of goodies. What I do is I just throw everything into a tub that I like. And what I use is what I use. What I don't goes back in the other bins. <laughs> so I have some greenery, I've got some picks, things like that that we're gonna use. But first I wanna go ahead and get my mesh in. So my mesh is cut at 30 inches. And this mesh, believe it or not, is a fabric mesh. It came from uh, Joann's, which I was really surprised because I don't normally buy mesh from them. But they had a sale and I thought I'd give it a try. And it's not bad, actually. Now that I said that, there'll be a fray, of course. Oops, I keep forgetting I keep putting one over here. I do love this mesh. It is very pretty. Look at that. I love it. So I'm just doing a regular ruffle and I, when I do a, a evergreen I don't really have any rhyme or reason to where I put them. I just kind of go around and fill it in where I like them. So I try to get the bottom all filled in and then the top where most of our goodies are going to go. I don't worry so much about having that as full. But I do have some extra pieces over here. Thank you for sharing. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to my page, I would love for you to follow and like my page and come back and see me again sometime. And did y'all get to... Now these ones are a little bit shorter because they were at the end of the roll, but we're gonna put them over here underneath where our bow and everything's gonna go so they'll be okay. But these are probably about 24 inches. So we're gonna have our two gingerbreads on here. We're gonna have our bow at the top. And then we're gonna fill it in with a lot of candies and things like that, so. I'm gonna add in some of these extra pieces that I had off to the side. They were in anybody else have that extra leftover mesh pile. I try not to. That's why I usually cut mine pretty long. So that I don't have a lot left over, but I'm starting to use up what I had before I got smart and started doing that. <laughs> so these are going to go up underneath my gingers to kind of help them. This is also a fabric mesh just slightly a different color a little bit darker but again it's not going to be seen so we're not worrying about it you're having trouble selling Christmas wreaths 
it take it, I will say it does take time. I know you said you were new, but yeah, it does take a little bit of time. Where are you selling them at? <clears throat> I you know what, Jessica, I can't stand them either, and that's why I'm starting to get rid of them and use them all up. I had enough a couple months ago that I made up about four full bases with just leftover mesh I had. And, I, you know, it just drives me crazy. I've learned over the years, you learn things as you go, and I've learned to use up the roll, but I still have the old rolls still hanging around. So I'm slowly trying to incorporate some of them into pieces and get rid of it all. And I won't be keeping any more, that's for sure. <laughs> now, ribbon, that's a different story. <laughs> I have, you know, like, the end pieces that I cut off, and I do save those because you never know when you're going to need them. All right, we've got this one, and I think one more. Thank you, Callie. Thank you, thank you. I will zoom in when I do the bow so that you guys can see a lot better on that. So I like these really nice and full, as you can see. And some of them do have these little frays, but for the most part it's not bad. Of course, the all mesh frays, the less you play with it, the better, but I know that's a pet peeve of everyone's that they hate when the mesh frays, but to be honest with you, hi Jennifer, to be honest with you, we're the only ones that notice it. Customers don't notice it. They don't look at it and say, oh, that's frayed. They think it's part of the design. They don't know. Hey Amy, how are you doing? You have about 15 rolls of leftover mesh. I can relate. <laughs> I can relate. I have a box down here in front of me that you can't see that's full of it, of half empty rolls that I should have never kept to begin with, but I just, you know, can't throw it away. All right, that was the last piece of mesh, I believe. I want to make sure I didn't drop any. So see, I just scattered those in here. Like I said, they're not going to be seen anyway once we get everything on here. So the color is okay. So there's our mesh. And I did squeeze my wreath in a little bit. Well, I don't know where that came from, but I think a bunch of berries that were just hanging out in my wreath here. Um, but I did squeeze it just a little bit to give it that oval shape and to make it a little bit elongated. Um, I'll make sure that I'm still doing. I know, it's hard throwing them away, isn't it? All right, so if you just joined, these are the two gingers that we're using. We got a Mr. and a Mrs. here. So those are gonna go on first. Mrs. is going at the top and Mr. is going a little bit of a slant here at the bottom. Our bow is going to go up here. We might put a second one at the bottom. I'm not sure. I am not doing ribbon tails around. So I didn't poke holes in all of their bodies because I wanted, I wasn't sure which direction I was going to go with them. So I'm using 26 gauge floral wire. That's my preferred wire to use on these. I don't like pipe cleaners on my signs. This floral wire hides really well and uh, can't be, you know, seen unless you're like right up nose to nose with it. So that's what I like to do. And I'm going to use my little hole punch here. And I already put one in the, their head and I'm going to put one, they're not that heavy, so I don't think I have to put them don't look if you don't want to see. He's getting one right in his crotch. There we go. And she's getting one. Let me see. He's going here. She's going here. 
she's getting one in her dress. All right, so I'm gonna grab my weaving needles. I have these weaving needles in my shop if you're interested in these. They come in two different sizes. These are um, used for a lot of things. I use them to get my attachments, well, I don't know why I need it right now, uh, to get my attachments and my wires through my mesh and my wreaths without struggling. You can find them at my shop at wreathdecorbydawn.com. They are all right. Now we're going to use our weaving needle. So I'm going to take both my wires, put it through here, poke it right down through my mesh, and I want to make sure that I go in between the two rings. And then I'm going to wrap my wire around the one one ring so that I have wire on each side. I can usually do this without looking, but this one's a little bit thicker. There we go. You can also do them one at a time, but I'm just too... I want it done now, so we're going to do it at the same time. Hello from Indiana. It can be used for signs, attachments. We can use them on grapevines. They bend real nice and easy going through a grapevine. And um, they're great for if you crochet, of course, to sew off your ends, which is what they were originally intended for. And um, teaching kids to sew also, because there's no sharp point to them. So it's easy, and they have a big eye on them, so you can fit not only your wires, but your pipe cleaners in there. So you'll find those in my shop. Pushed it through, and now it's caught on something. So let's just find it. There it is. There it is, right there. It's caught on a pine needle. So we're just going to put this through here. Alright, there we go. I don't want to tighten it too tight because I don't want them to smash everything down. I want them looking like they're floating on top of everything. And Mrs. is going to go right up top here and she's going to be pointed towards the center of the wreath a little bit. There we go. Aren't they cute? Alright, I want that in between right there. These are adorable. So yeah, so anyway, like I said, if you're new to my page, give me a like and a follow and join me on Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Alright, we're just going to go around this way tack that on there. I'm not going to fight with it right now. And I also have some ribbons and signs in my shop and wreath attachments. All right, let's make a bow. I'm going to use my Easy Bow Maker. Here are my ribbons that I'm going to use. All right, I think I'm going to use, let's see, do I want to do this one first or that one? <clears throat> I think I'm going to do this one first. And I'm going to do a about a, um, I don't know, 12, 14 inch, that's probably 14 inch tail there. And I'm going to do three loops on each side, about five and a half inches. I like to do five and a half inches, six and a half just sometimes doesn't look right to me, and I just do um, a five and a half, and it works. 
Don't ask me why. It's really weird, but that's just the way I work. <laughs> You wouldn't think there'd be that big of a difference, but there is. And I've heard it from other people, too, so I'm not the only one that's weird. So this has got our little gingerbreads on it, and they match our little gingerbread people. She's got the red polka dot dress on, and he has the red polka dot tie. And her hair bow is the green, just like our little tin girl over here. All right, so that's three loops on each side. I am not going to worry about the direction of my gingerbread right now. Let's see which ones are going which direction here. I do have an Etsy. It is wreakthecorebydawn.com. Alright, so we're going to take the ones that are upside down and we're going to give it another twist. There are other ways you can do this. You can cut it and make them all go the same direction. I'm not doing that. It takes too long. So we're just going to twist in either direction, whichever one you want to go in. And you want to do this before you get your zip tie in there and then it's going the right direction. So I hope I'm not missing any of your questions. I do go back after my lives and answer any questions I think I missed. Um, I think I'm going to do the one and a half next. So I take, if you don't normally watch me, I usually take way too long to make a bow. That's kind of one of the reasons I'd never made them on a live prior, but everybody kind of was wanting me to make them on my lives, so now they have to suffer with how long it takes me to make them. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be five inches, and we're going to do two loops on each side with this one. This one has got a lot of glitter on it. No, I don't have any wire in here right now. I do a zip tie at the end. So there's two loops. Yeah, I don't have any wire in there right now. And I think I'm going to do the candies. I don't think I'm going to use the gingerbread houses. This one just does not want to go in there. We'll deal with it later. I think we're going to use the candies and then the stripes and not the gingerbread. So then this one we're going to do, this one's a little thicker, we're going to do one, someone said that they overpowered your wreath, yeah. Oh, it may not be for everyone. It just means it wasn't their style, that's all. To each their own. This is going to be about four and a half.
was the uh, the oh her you're asking her okay mine's a 24 inch so that's the frame I'm using yeah I was going to use a 20 but a 20 just wouldn't be big enough for both of them all right that's good I don't know if I'm liking that green in there now. Don't know if I like that green. I wanted the pop of green to go with their bow and the buttons. We'll see. If I don't like it, I can take it apart later. zip ties with mine sixteen inch wreath which comes out finished to a twenty four yeah it just made oh I hate that okay so they splice this one together find a use for that later. I might take that green out and put this one in there later. Let's do two. All right. The important thing is, did you like the wreath that you made? There's a buyer out there for every wreath. Whether someone likes it or not, there's definitely somebody out there that will buy it. So don't let that discourage you. If you were happy with it, that's what matters. Yeah, I just don't know if I like that green. All right, so I'm gonna take my zip tie. I'm gonna use a longer zip tie. The replay will be on my page. All right, I'm gonna grab this one. Good morning from Washington. Pull my zip tie around to the back. the last long one I had, wasn't it? Of course it was. So we're going to pull two of these out. We'll just use black. You know what? Some people are still buying Christmas, Kathy. I have a couple. I have an order today I got to get out. Um, so they are still buying. I think probably the end of this week, next week, just remember, there are some that don't decorate until Christmas Eve. And they can buy for gifts. Now, I wouldn't be necessarily making any more right now. I'm not. That's your call. That's up to you. All right, so we've got the zip tie on there. We've got the pipe cleaners in the back. Yeah, I just, we'll have to see how that green's gonna go with them. If it doesn't work, it's coming off. But I will do that after my live. So I'm fluffing out my loops. If you don't have one of these, get yourself one of these zip tie guns. I give it a little squeeze and then I cut it. 
That way to make sure it gets it nice and tight. There we go. Now we're going to put this on our wreath. Now the tails will probably have to be cut. I don't want them hanging in their face, but I'm going to put it kind of high up here. So I'm going to grab my needles. You're not making any more either? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think people are still buying, but I'm not, I mean, I wouldn't make any more. If you, whatever you have is what I would go with. That's just my opinion, though. Everybody's got a different opinion on it. Taking my weaving needle, and I'm poking that through all of this fun stuff. <coughs> Pulling that in there. Now, don't pull the hoot hard. You don't want to sink that bow down in going to look like it's got a sunken neck if you pull it down too far. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I have to look at it and see if I like that green or not. Cleaning up glitter, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll be cleaning up glitter for a long time. I don't think my house will ever be glitter free again. Come on. There it goes. We got it there. So I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to fluff it up again. Make sure that it's not sunken in. And we are going to decorate the bow as well possibly if I decide I'm leaving this green. Yeah, glitter is everywhere. A cup of glitter last night. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? You like the green in the bow? Yeah, I have to look at it because I have to see it with them, you know, to see how it works. I think just that pop might work. So these will be cut a little bit, not too much, but a little bit, because I don't want to cover them up. But let's fluff this out. So again, if you're new to my page, like I said earlier, if you do lives in that, or even if you sell, um, I have a group called Wreath the Core by Dawn's Crafters Community and you can share your lives to it. So come, it's free group. You can share your lives so that everyone can see it. You can share your pictures. You can share your links. All that stuff. I know it's hard for us to find places to promote ourselves. So we have crafters and we have um, people who aren't crafters who, you know, might want to buy. So, come and join the group. Alright. Let's go ahead and get these cut down. And then we'll move on with our goodies. So, I'm just cutting these random. Oops. Too much glitter on that one to cut. Sometimes I will take my one and a halfs and I will curl them up. I have a little dowel here that I use. And just take that and wrap it around it. You can do it by hand as well, but it just makes it easier. I'll do this side. All right, so I cut up all these, whoops. Wow, everything's just sticking to everything. I say if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen on live, right? There we go. So I had these little gingies that I was going to put on there as well, but I'm gonna wait until the end to see. So I have these picks, I got these from my wholesaler. They are just some uh, snow picks. 
I cut them up into three pieces. You can get multiple pieces out of these by cutting them uh, on the back. So I cut these up and we're going to use these in here just to give it some color in that. I want to use these with the candies on them first. So I have these pieces with these little candies and curly cues on them. You can stretch those out a little bit. My glue pot is going. I use a glue pot. So we're going to put some glue on that. These stick really well to these pine wreaths. So we're going to put that in there. We're just going to move them around. And wherever I see greenery, bare greenery, that's where I want to put these. How are we doing on time here? Sometimes I can do an hour and sometimes I go a little longer. Last night I did my live and I went over a little longer. Just depends on what I'm making, I guess. All right, come on, get in there. I don't want to take up more time than I'm allotted. So again, these this greenery pick came with these little curly cues and these little candy picks already on them. Hi, Laura. Totally good on time. Great. Oh, 40 minutes. Okay. Woohoo. I think we can do that. We better be able to do that, right? <laughs> All right, so we're just going to fill these in. One, two, three. You're at work. First call weekend. Oh, okay. How's it going? You liking the new job? Miss Teresa is an RN. Alright, so I'm cutting that one down just a tad. Yeah, it gets really hard to remember things anymore not fun either I mean you know it's like you know the words you struggle for them or you remember you can remember certain things but you can't remember all of them you know it's just the way it goes you know our parents warned us we just didn't listen we thought we were going to be different how's that working for us now <laughs> So I'm just taking um, some of these and po poking them in wherever I see my ties, wherever I see green, um, open greenery. I'm going to put one of these behind my bow. I use a glue skillet. These are really easy to find. You can get them on Amazon. Mine is a 7 inch, I believe. I love my glue pot. And then you can just take your twist ties and wrap them around those pieces. All right, I think I got all of that in there. I'm going to see a couple more spots here I want to add to. I want some of that snow. I want some of that shimmer popping out from all around. All right, let's do up top here. Oh, I should have cut that one down. Let me cut that one down. What confuses you about in, about putting greenery in? I needed to cut that down. It's got glue on it, so it's going to stick to everything now. Stick to that ribbon. You know what? It's all in finding those spots that are that look bare. For me, 
Again, all I can tell you is what I do. There's no right or wrong way to do any of it, to be honest with you. And don't let anyone tell you there is, because there isn't. This one's going up top there. There are no rules. You know, sometimes I have to put it and hang it up and look at it and see, you know, where I want to put certain things. I did a wreath last night on my live um, that is not completed yet because I want to hang it up and make a few changes. You know, it, it, it's just a matter of looking at it from all sides. You feel like you don't know how to do it the right way? There is no right way. Yeah, we're you know what? I I can I can relate to being critical. I'm I'm the same way. I have a very good friend, Susan, that talks me down all the time. She tells me I overthink everything. Alright, so let's take a look at that. I think we need a couple more pieces of green right in the center right here. But there is no wrong way to do it. It's it's a matter, when you're making it, it's what you like at that moment. And you know what? If you don't like it, you can always take it out. It's not hard to do. I do it all the time. I get off of my lives, and what I made during my live is never going to look like that when I get done with it because I usually will change something. But you take a um, what do you want to call it? Um, the heater, the thing down here. My heat gun. Take that, you can take that glue stuff off like nothing. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm going to be up that way in February. Do you ever go to the Sims shows up there at the uh, Sims Pottery Wholesaler? They do them twice a year. And they're free to go to. We've learned so much from them. And that's how I've met most of the people I've met through uh, wreathing, is by going to these shows and that. All right, I'm putting one more in here, and then I'm moving on to the candies, because I want to get those in. But yeah, I'll be up that direction. I would love to get together. I have several um, wreath makers that are here. I, I try and keep track of them. I keep a little list of wreath makers that say they're from North Carolina, so that I can get in touch with them. And maybe, eventually, we can all get together meet up, go shopping, go to lunch. I am near Fort Bragg, Beth. So I am in the southeastern part of the state. Clayton. Oh yeah, Stega. Alright, so let me show you what we got going on here so far. So you see that bow is decorated now. Making sure you guys are seeing the same thing I'm seeing. Alright, let's get rid of this. And that's my pile over there. All right. So I know for sure we're putting these gingerbreads in. And then I have a whole bunch of candies. That um, we're going to use. I also have these. I think I might use some of those. And then our little gingerbread men. Or babies. Well, we got a little rolling pin here. So let's start with that. All right, so we've got our candy here. And I'm just placing these in so I can see what they look like and how I want to do them. I will have to cut them down. Let's see, we've got a gingerbread tree here. That's going to go up top, I think. I need to fix that stick. It feels very loose. I want to keep in mind also if I'm going to ship this 
it's got to fit within my box. So I want to make sure that nothing is protruding out to where it's going to not make it not fit in my box. So always keep your shipping in mind if you do any shipping. And that's something that I do a lot of, so I have to keep that in mind. And when I, where I place my stuff, because it'll be too late once I sell it, I can't go back and change it, because then the customer's not going to like that. All right, let me hold this up because I think that one is going to be... I don't want anything that's going to lean forward when it's hanging on the door. It's got to either be flush or it's got to be, um, you know, just barely sticking up. So you want to keep those kind of things in mind when you're doing this. And it'll save you a ton of trouble later on. Trust me. Yeah, that works right there. So that one's not sticking out any further than my bow, so that's good. And I think this one can come down here. So I'm just lifting up my mesh and I'm placing it in between. <clears throat> that's not going to work there. So we're going to have to go in here. It's kind of hard because I still have my tags on, but once I pull those tags off, yeah, that's going to work. So I have one there, and I can put another one over here, right in here where there's an empty spot. I know it's hard for you guys to see it. I think I'm going to move this up top so that they're opposite. So I've got a tree over there, and we'll have the snowflake over here. And then we'll have a snowflake there and a tree over here. That's what I'm going to do. Let me go right down in here. I'm going to have to do it like, no, that's, I don't want it that close to them. I'm trying to get in, there it is, right there. I knew I was just, had an opening there. So I want to get that in there and... You can see it, but it's not protruding out too much. So let me go ahead and... You used to be a silent watcher too. I kind of sometimes still am, and I know it's not good to, to do that. I try really hard not to. But there's just some days when you just want to watch. And Alright, so let's go ahead and get these in there. It doesn't want to tear off. So these came from Michaels last year. If you guys aren't shopping those after season sales, I'm telling you, you're missing out on a lot of good stuff. When they have stuff left over, that is. Somehow, I don't think this year anybody's going to have a lot left over. I keep all my tags so that I can figure out what I've put into my wreath. All right, now I can't remember where it was. There, right there. Alright, so this does not have to be that long by any means. We're going to cut that off. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I like teaching. I like doing that. And I want to make sure, yeah, I'm poking through the back on that one, but I'll go and clip that off later. I'm thinking I want, I'm trying to think if I want to move that or not. I might just leave it. But I did not pay much for these little signs. These little tin signs are not expensive at all. So the biggest expense I have in here are these attachments right here. Because the mesh, I got a really good deal on that at um, Joann's. So I did not pay a ton for that either. Alright, that's in. Too much time. i got to hurry this up a little bit here. Um, so yeah, but these little picks here, like, you know, the regular price on them was $2.99. I probably, what, 60% off of that. So, And then you, there's not a ton of uh, ribbon in it because all I did was my bow. So I don't have ribbon tails, which is a big expense when you're doing a wreath. And um, 
what else? The greenery I was very cheap. I got that from my wholesaler. But you can get those also at um, Hobby Lobby. They're not expensive at all. This one's going in there. So yeah. But I'll probably figure out that I've... Get off of there. That I um, probably need to sell them for more than that, that I, now that I've said it. But everything, let's see what we got. All right, so now I wanted originally to put, this is the last piece here, my little bin full of stuff. I don't know if I'm putting these candy canes in or not. I really don't think I need them with those gingerbreads and the other candies in there, to be honest with you. So I think I'll leave those off until I can look at it later. But my original plan was to have from his hand and her hand to have the little baby going from their hands. Whoops, got something else in here. Sacramento, California. I grew up in Southern California. Down about 50 miles from LA. And then I met my husband and then he went in the military and we pretty much lived out here off and on for most of the re our adult lives. We went to Alaska, we went to North, uh, New York, we went, it's like we would go somewhere, come back here, go somewhere, come back here. <laughs> we could never get away from here. So I think I'm only going to be able to do one. I don't know how that's going to look. I want to try it and see, but it may not work. It was just a thought I had the other day when I was thinking about what I was going to make and I realized I had the garlands or the little garland people. Gingies. Thank you. Now I'm in North Carolina. Now I'm here in North Carolina. We've been here since, off and on since uh, 85. My husband retired out of Fort Bragg and then took a job working with the soldiers. So he continues to do that until he, he'll be ready to retire here pretty soon again. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can't undo that. So we're going to put a hole. Thank you. We are almost done. Pretty place. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do this one off the live. But anyway, because I have to uh, thread that through there, that hole is kind of small. I'm going to get my drill out and make it a little bit bigger. But anyway, the, the idea was to have the little gingy baby, see right here, hanging down. So that's, that was the idea for that, for the little baby to be kind of holding their hand in between, so to say. I don't know if it's going to work. I'll figure it out. Uh, my husband is from Orange County, from uh, Anaheim area. Santa Ana, Anaheim, his family is all over down there. So there we go. There's our wreath. Let me zoom in. I never did zoom in when I did the bow, did I? Appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you all for joining me for the first time. If you're new to my page, give it a like, a follow. And I will see you all soon. Be kind to one another and have a great weekend. Bye.